During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about the carbon to nitrogen ratio and what that means exactly out in fields. Well, a lot of times when you're looking at a field like this particular field had corn in it in the previous crop, you see lots of residue out there and we get questions. What does it take for that residue to break down? We have to think about what this residue is comprised of. It has about a 60 to 1 ratio of carbon to nitrogen in corn stalks. Now, if we had wheat straw, it could be 80 to 1 carbon to nitrogen. And the higher that carbon number gets, the more difficult it is to get those stalks to break down. Yep, so I've got this high carbon residue in my hand, the, this corn stalk here. It's probably going to take a while to break down. And what's going to break it down is bacteria. Now, if I say bacteria to you, do you think positively or negatively? Well, usually people just generally think bacteria, oh, that's bad. No, bacteria in this case is fantastic. And for farmers, we look at it as we have trillions and trillions of free laborers out in our field. Well, they're not quite free because what they're going to do in the short term, they're trying to get sugar out of any residue that's out there. If they don't have enough sugar, they're gonna look at nitrogen. And so they're gonna actually use nitrogen as food in the short term because there just isn't the right carbon to nitrogen ratio. The right ratio is about 16 to one, 16 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. When that ratio is higher, like Darren said, 60 to one with corn stalks quite commonly, we're gonna see some actual tie up of nitrogen. So for example, if we spread 100 pounds of nitrogen out here, there will right now only be maybe 60 or 80 pounds available for the crop. When we think about how we can speed this residue breakdown up, the other thing that could be done is tillage. And in essence, you're really adding some nitrogen to the equation and adding a lot more bugs to the equation too. Because as you're chopping up that residue and spinning up even a small amount of soil, you're also bringing up the nitrogen that that soil contains. So now you've got some more food and you have some more bacteria breaking down the residue. So the carbon to nitrogen thing isn't something that's super commonly talked about throughout much of agriculture, but it's a really big deal for farmers who have corn, who have small grain. Whenever you've got these high carbon plants after the season, going into the next season, you got to take a look at, hey, if I've got to have a lot of nitrogen for my next crop, that means I'm going to have to apply at least a little bit more because in the short term, some of that nitrogen is going to get tied up. Eventually it'll come back, but it might be a year or two or three years before that nitrogen comes back into the system. And farmers love it when they can break that residue down a little bit quicker because there are nutrients in the residue that can feed next year's crop and help it compete against our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 